we're going to talk about really briefly the top things of how to, uh, that prevent you from astral traveling. Now, just so you understand, astral travel is not always coming out of the body and you see yourself in this weird space. We've talked about that on other episodes. you got to understand, astral travel is at time just allowing your consciousness to have the ability to go somewhere and begin to get more space, get out of that shell or box, and then begin to process something greater. So, one, lack of belief. If you have a lack of belief that this stuff that I'm telling you today is possible, if you think it's fictitious and part of Marvel Comics, you're mistaken. If the only thing that I've ever been here for is to tell you it's real. Now, you may not be able to get it to happen on cue, but definitely something's up and you have these strange, weird powers and abilities that you can spend infinity on figuring out how to perfect. Balance is something that you have to do daily. Number two. Fear. Fear is indeed the mind controller. It will cause, it will shut down and withdraw your system. It will pull your Kundalini deep down into the Cossacks and throw strata on top of it. To get rid of it, simply tighten the sphincter. Multi-orgasmic man. Learn how to close that lower chakra and root lock. If you're having that fear-based thing going on when you're trying to ascend or you're using chakra activating substances such as breath. Four or three, excuse me, prana. If you're low on fuel, this is a light vehicle, if you may. So you need gas. The gas it runs on is prana, not chicken grease. So remember, keep an available amount of prana by understanding how to do the proper breathing techniques. Four, the configuration, meaning your food, your bed, the magnetic mapping. If you're trying to do this in the travel to when you're asleep, One, eating late is a no-no. If the organs are processing something, they're definitely not going to be able to vibrate to get you out of the body. Second thing is the bed. You got to figure out what direction of your bed, your direction your bed needs to go in. Study a little bit about feng shui in the bedroom. Because if your bed is facing right at the door, if your bed's right there where the bathroom door is, you got to position the bed properly in order for you to get the maximum amount of liftoff potential at 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning when the sun starts making its way up through the horizon. Second thing, the magnetic mapping. If you happen to live in an area that has a lot of nature and you just so happen to have a natural water supply running underneath your house, you can map that channel with uh, hematite magnets, you know, get you some cheap, they're cheap, hematite magnets, you can pull that right under your bed. All you do is you just make up, you draw a line, you make the line of the magnetite all the way under the bed, and then it'll pull that in, and that actually is the, the channel that you travel down when you go into this anabolistic state. That means that the body is shut off, and now it's time to play. The next thing is, if you're in a high rise, remember, The soul cannot unpack. Our good friend Daniel Winter was very instrumental in explaining to us that many of our souls are pretty big and living in these huge steel structures doesn't allow them to unpack. You just watch them kind of cluttered up in the room. So to remedy that kind of situation, look to get something like a grounding blanket because that allows you to get rid of a lot of the static and a lot of the free radicals that are going on with the body so that you can ground out properly. This is the same thing of when we deal with chips, computer chips, we have to put a grounding strap on because the static electricity from the body is enough to throw to burn out the chip. This is the same kind of static electricity that we're talking about. So if you have one of those, you know, crazy blankets that where you rub your feet on and you see the static electricity going everywhere, it looks interesting and it looks definitely like you got electric coming from the body. But just remember, you need to ground that out in order to have the proper ground for the takeoff. 